I never really joined it uh, as, a, as a career path, certainly never as a, a long-term career path. I was never going to stay here uh, for the whole of my career uh, and move on. I was just sort of do it for a while and then move on to something else. I joined the Commonwealth Police uh, and then there was the amalgamation uh, and foundation of the AFP in 1979. Um, uh, 1979. I came down to Canberra and then joined the community policing functions here in the ACT. So there was a huge difference between the Commonwealth functions and the community policing that I went into. Um, I was, so I was the first Commonwealth person doing police work in the ACT. Uh, and it's, that's something that I've always enjoyed uh, and it's something that I'll always be uh, remember as probably um, I'd say probably the most enjoyable part of my career is, is, is working ACT policing. When you're working in uniform in the ACT, uh, it's dynamic and exciting because you never, you, you come to work and you never really know what the day would bring to you. You know, as I look back uh, through my career to the ACT policing, it was very much, you know, that sort of formed uh, a lot of my foundation skills that I used to move on uh, in the organisation. I went to Cyprus and that, that was just a six months comment. A six month uh, with the UN there in Cyprus. It was very, I mean it was, it was interesting uh, in that uh, at that time it was still very divided. Um, and um, Turks on the north and the Greeks on the south and the green zone in the middle. In the green zone, there's, um, there's, there's cafes where people have just got up and left during the intervention or invasion, as you want to call it. So all the plates are there, still there, all the chairs are turned over. There was still tensions. There was the, the commemoration day, I still remember. Uh, they usually have a lot of large protests, uh, and there's always a bit of a build up to that. Uh, and when I was there, a Turkish, uh, sorry, a Greek soldier ended up in the buffer zone and he was shot and killed by Turkish forces. I did the investigation into that. I was fortunate enough to get a position as a senior liaison officer in Suva, Fiji. It just adds another dimension to the opportunities in the AFP. It's been a bit incremental, I suppose, in my career a bit. So, you know, ACT policing, community policing, then national, and then I was able to work international as well. In the ACT, you used to have to come in and, and type up these things, and there was about five or six, and they were all different colours. You used to have to put carbon between each of the papers, and you reel it in the typewriter, and you'd have to be typing it up. And of course, you always made mistakes. Uh, and so you had uh, these batches of, um, what do you call it, uh, correctional liquid or um, um, white out or whatever, and it had all the same sort of colours. So every time you made a mistake, you know, you'd have to reel the thing back up again, open it up and, 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 and go through and white out all your mistakes and then sit there waiting for it to dry. So a real uh, technolo technological advancement was that they had self-carbonating, so that was a big thing. So no mobile phones at all, uh, so you used to have to um, uh, carry a pocket full of change around in your car. <laughs> you knew where all the phone booths were, you knew you know, hopefully it wasn't smashed up that you could actually use your phone booths. So you used to call in every now and then for the phone booths or call into the stations, but you still had your, your police radio as well too. In terms of the AOP, I mean, the AOP, you know, I'm still here after all these years. And the only reason I'm here is because I enjoyed it. Um, and I enjoy what I'm doing and the diversity um, that the AOP has to offer in, in, in different areas of work, different sort of work, um, you know, ability to walk at work overseas and all that sort of thing. It's uh, uh, that's that's why I'm still here. So it's a uh, it is a very rewarding career.